next option we are going to see about in a freestyle job is called how do I create a conditions, right? Whenever you want to run something, I want to create conditions in my jobs, right? So how do I achieve conditions in the freestyle job? Okay, so let's see that first. So when I install my, um, this uh, build pipeline plugin, it would have installed a build condition plugin. We will see that option. So let me create a job. Let me call it as condition. Let me create a freestyle project. The name of the job, I'm going to keep it as condition. Okay. That I'm going to create a parameter. Okay. So let's keep this like a string parameter, okay? And let me create a variable called um, input, okay? Let's say, let me just call it as um, input. Uh, the default is run, okay? So here in the build step, you can see a new option created called conditional step. Okay, Though I can define a condition run. So there is multiple conditions I can create. Okay, when uh, a Boolean condition that yes or no kind of things. Okay, or I want to run it always or I want it to run it never. Okay, and then I can create something like uh, execute shell i want to run a command if, if that is successful i want the next to be executed so those kind of things i can do okay and uh, there i can use a string match also okay whether this string is having this value i want this to be executed okay like that you can use unconditioned or condition multiple multiple conditions like i can run uh, whether the environment variable exit exist all those things okay so let me write a condition saying a string using a string match like when this dollar input right when this variable has a value called run i want to execute a shell saying okay execute shell it will just run the command on the underlying Jenkins system. Okay, let me echo the value provided for put variable is I can print the variable also. So dollar, so input is a variable, right? If I put the val uh, variable here, it will print the value of the variable. Okay, this is one condition. And another condition, I can add one more single condition step. So string match. Okay. So input. Uh, not string match input is equal to sorry when input is equal to run not equal to run so it is I'm just putting in I'll just say directly print it and that I'm saying not when the string put is not equal to run I can execute a shell command saying echo value provided for input is dollar so 
I'm using. If it is uh, provided as run, it will print run, or otherwise, it will print the value which I provided. Okay, just a mimicking scenario how to use the conditional. Okay, so let me save this and build with parameter. So I'm going to put run as an input variable. And let me see in the console output. So the value provided for input is run. So it is printing that. So it is running the first condition and printing it. Not is skipped. And let uh, let me just uh, see this. You can see it is providing printing this. And it is ignoring the previous step. Okay. This is the options you can use in the conditions. Let me show you the job once again. So I have added two conditional steps. One is when the input is having run, it will print directly the run value. And next is not, I'm going to use not and the input is not equal to run, it is going to print the value. Okay. This is how you can bring in conditions in the job. In the freestyle job.